Hi, Vashnavi. I'm Samjuthi from Student Success Team. Hi, Hello, Vache. Hi. Congratulations on getting a call from Nalsa. How are you feeling? Thank you so much, ma'am. It's it's very surreal. Uh, the first few days on campus were beautiful. The campus here is so big, so stunning. It's beautiful, and the classes just started from the third of July. So it's a different experience. The classes are very different from school, and the schedule is also hectic. But I'm enjoying it. Okay. So, how many classes per day are there? How how are you? I mean, how are you managing it? Is it different from school and everything? Yeah, yeah. It's very different from school. Our classes start at nine. Mm -hmm. uh, we usually have four or five classes in a day, and because it's our first week here, we have a lot of orientations going on. So we start at nine, and it it yesterday I came back at my room at seven thirty. So that's how long of a day it can get. But it's very fun because you're with your friends all the time, and you get breaks in between. So we usually have four to five classes a day. Liking the campus, liking the infrastructure, food. Very beautiful. Yes, yes, it's very beautiful. It's like a it's like a jungle over here. There are so many animals, but mm -hmm. uh, it's very green. It's very pretty. The library is huge. It's very huge. The mess is huge. It's stunning. The campus is very beautiful. There's a lake nearby. We have a lake inside the campus as well and outside. Mm -hmm. So the sunsets are too dive. Very pretty. Too much nature around. Yes, too much. I actually have a lake view room, so I can see the lake from my room. So oh my god, that's good. So you you are living in a double occupancy or a single occupancy? For the first three years, we have to live in a double occupancy. So I'm in a double occupancy. For the fourth and fifth year, we get a single occupancy room. All right. So, but sir, tell me something about yourself. Yes, ma'am. I am Vaishnavi Shivastu. I'm from Bhopal. I did my coaching for two years from for eleventh and twelfth from Legal Edge Bhopal. Uh, for the first year, I was enrolled in the offline program. Uh, sorry, in the online program because COVID was going on. Then I joined Legal Edge ka offline center, and that is where I prepared for my CLAT. Okay, so uh, your CLAT rank? I got uh, All India Rank one fifty one. And Nalsar. Right and <laughs> yeah and also <laughs> again. So for your batch, it was very less time to prepare, like just six months. Because at that time, there were two times flat. Was it? So was it a shock, surprise, or how did you cope up with it? It was a huge shock. Uh, we got cut of six months actually. So yeah. the first time I heard the news, I was very shocked. I did not expect this to happen. But obviously, the I had mentors and people to help me at the center to you know. We okay with the change. Karan sir took a lot of classes. He told us that how the cut off will be affected by this. Like everybody will have six months less to prepare. So it's not like it is happening to one singular person. So that really helped. The support system really helped. My parents really helped. But it was definitely definitely a huge shock in the beginning. Yeah. So how long this went for? Did you come normalize over this pattern? Say. It, it took me like a. Week or so because I I was still in denial. I was like, this cannot happen this early. I'm not prepared. Uh -huh. But then when we see the positive sides of it, it was now that I'm here in Nalsar, I see why they made it that way because it would have been very hectic to manage it with both as it happened in the previous years. Mm -hmm. So I I see why they did it, but at that time it was difficult to cope up. All right, but the results are so fruitful, so worth it. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, how was your journey in Legal Edge? It was amazing. To be at a shorter words, it was really great. The ecosystem is. I think I have tried actually other coaches coachings, and the ecosystem is LE is one of the best. Okay. The mocks. The classes, everything. The faculty here is so so great, and I had the privilege of doing an offline experience as well. And Ali Bhopal being the main center, I had a lot of facilities which I otherwise wouldn't have. So my experience, like I wouldn't be here in Nalsar if it was it was not for Legal Edge. I got selected in the Super Thirty batch as well, um, in my twelfth standard. So that was a game changer. The one on one sessions that teachers took. They really helped me boost up my confidence. All right. So you planned on starting a little early, like just in your eleventh standard. So what made yes. you? What made you plan that way? What was your thinking behind? 
um actually when i selected clad the story is basically it was based on a pattern of elimination i knew very early in my 5th and 6th that i took humanities as my uh, 12th ka subject so after that it was just a process of elimination and during that time cuet was also introduced it was the same year when cuet was introduced so i thought let me give a let me just go through because ellie being in bhopal i went to the center i went to the office i talked to them and from what i gauged it is a relatively difficult exam to master so i thought it would be better if i start preparing in 11th and just you know for the first year i just got acquainted with the pattern of the exam i was not very focused on my ranks or scores it was more about building the basics that are needed to ace the exam in 12th because in 12th i'd have my boards and i'd have to manage that as well so i thought 11th being a buffer year could be used very well that is why i started it in 11th do you feel ki aapke paas ek upper edge tha when you started early yes i do think so it i think it gives you um, more time to be acquainted with the pattern of the exam because you're starting in 11th you're giving significantly more number of mocks you're attending significantly more number of classes even if you're not i was not putting a lot of effort in 11th but just attending those classes attending those mocks attending those sheets they they made me very comfortable with the pattern so that in 12th i can i can be very um, smooth in my functioning in 12th it was just perfecting it was all about perfecting every single score every single subject so i think i definitely had a upper edge starting in 11th all right so how did you plan your entire journey kyunki it would be different for 11th and different for 12th yeah so what how yeah. did you plan on ki because you had two years mm mm-hmm. yes ma'am so i had that time i didn't plan but now that i see it now that i see back on it it was definitely more of building my basics in 11th like i did my cr theory my legal theory in 11th uh, and i started understanding how to make notes how to read newspapers all of just just the basics very basic of the examination i completed all of that in 11 and 12th was all about perfecting each of the nuances like getting uh, my gk notes as much information as possible in the gk notes knowing knowing how to solve the uh, legal passages sometimes legal passages can be very tough to interpret and those basics helped there so in very briefly if i sum it up first year was all about building my basics second year was all about perfecting it and getting it up there did you feel ki when you joined a little early so it was mm-hmm. like a school or clat 12th mein balance karna zyada easy tha comparatively yes, agar fresh ki that, tha, definitely if it would have been fresh i would have been introduced with all those concepts at that point mm-hmm. and it would have been definitely very difficult to manage that and uh-huh. school as well okay. so i think that's a that's a very great way to put it all right so how did you manage clat and 12th together how did you balance that matlab some tips um, for our fresher students who are still struggling yes ma'am so basically there can be two ways i actually did not study every single day for 12th i'm more of the person who can study and do it like in a week or so but there's another way that you can give like an hour or two to your 12th ka whatever is done in the class just just go through it once it'll be okay 12th board is not that hard very honestly i prepared for it in like the in like a month so it's not very hard it's definitely doable it's just the fear of boards that i think that's the main factor mm-hmm. so it's very doable my few tips would be to just attend classes if you can at least try to go like 3 to 4 days a week that's the bare minimum try to be in contact with your teachers this really helped me i told them that i was preparing for clat i told them that uh, this is something i seriously want to do and they will try to help you so just be in constant contact with your teacher with your principal whatever whoever you are comfortable with and if you have any seniors in the school who have done the same thing and gone for clat just talk to them they'll help you out on how to manage subjects how to be better at them and do not worry about your boards and stuff you'll get time because clat is in december so you'll have three full months it's very doable clat being a very long and hectic journey what are problems mm-hmm. did you face 
and how did you resolve it i mean you might have some resolutions you might have figured it out or you might have asked for help so what are problems and resolutions you would like to discuss that is such a huge paper there was a new problem every single day to be honest some day it would be like gk ne banra some day it will be like maths ne banra every subject has its own set of problems and they keep coming up and up and up again kabhi koi mock difficult ho jata tha so the journey is full of ups and downs like one day you'll be so happy and the other day your morale will be very down but the way to get through it is to see the larger picture why are you doing this you're doing this for clack a bad mock score doesn't mean you've not prepared it's just it just means you've so many more lessons that was why mantra i think siddhant sir gave it one uh, in one of his classes and that was my way to go because a bad mock score really really affected me personally so uh, my resolutions were just like take it one day at a time talk to seniors talk to people who have cracked clack talk to your mentors talk to your teachers and just try to take it one day at a time it it, it will be very great and very worth it at the end just see the end result and sometimes when i just couldn't focus i'd like watch videos of nls or nalsa that's that's just a fun way to you know engage yourself back in the preparation all right so at times as a feel hota hoga na yaar ab give up kar de kya kai mock score niche ho gaya ya kai baar aisa hua ki bahut overwhelming ho jata tha overall preparation yeah, yeah. so how did you cope up with that if if it really gets very overwhelming we'll just take a break for 2 3 hours it's not going to make a difference just take a break write it down writing down my feelings what i was feeling at that point of time really help just putting it out on paper putting it out of myself was really helpful or again talk to your mentors talk to your teachers they are there to help you like i did not understand this in the beginning i i did not talk to my mentors or teachers but my mother she was like behind me talk to your mentors they are there for you so that's when i got connected with the mentors and teachers uh, for me lokesh sir at uh, bhopal center so i went to him i talked to him i told him my problems and he had a solution for them because we're not the first people with these problems clat is being given every single year so yeah just talk to them i did not talk to my mentors in the beginning but do they 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 really nice so what would be your suggestions for our 12th graders mm-hmm. on how to manage time um i was not very good at it myself but <laughs> but uh, one thing would be definitely make schedules or to do lists whatever is uh, whatever suits your purpose because you will know what you have to do in that day another thing is prioritize it's very important for you to prioritize your subject even in clat and in boards for that matter because you are doing your 12th standard so for example if you find hi- i had humanity uh, example you find history difficult try to give it like half an hour and an hour a day try to prioritize it don't do political science maybe every single day because you're good at it similarly uh, le- uh, in clat legal has the most amount of weightage so try to do it most number of days like just prioritize your schedule and uh, have a certain timeline for yourself when you want to get things done don't just keep pushing them so for that the best is make to do lists uh, just mark on your calendar specific periods of time i used to do this on my calendar like i was like 9 to 10 i'll do my legal ka study calendar was the best way for me so yeah i think you'll be able to manage it perfectly all right if i may ask what was your first mm-hmm. mock score my first mock score was i think around 50 i'm not very sure about the number but i think it was around 50 and how uh, was your journey after that did it demotivate you and then how did you cope up with that and reached good mock scores and how how yeah. was it all uh, so my so 50 the mock score that i'm telling you was in 11 so i it did not affect me really because it was just 11 the the thing that affected me the most was i gave clat in 11 and i had been preparing for a year at that point and i got 64 in that clat that is the thing that affected me the most because i had certain level of basics like i expected better from myself and the paper was comparatively easier that year like i still feel that paper was easier than the paper we had so that was the turning point for me that is when i knew that i had to speed this up and i had to get it anyhow and um, 
उसके बाद से माई मॉर्क स्कोर रियली स्टार्टेड इन क्रीजिंग सो इन लीगल एच आई थिंक माई हाइएस्ट मॉर्क स्कोर वॉज हंड्रेड एंड इलेवन आई एम नॉट श्योर इट्स हंड्रेड एंड इलेवन और हंड्रेड एंड सिक्स आई डोट शो मैटर एक्सैक्टली राइट सो क्लैट एज अ जर्नी हैज अ लॉट ऑफ बैड फेजेस एंड गुड फेजेस राइट तो so, उन yes, दोनों yes, को बैलेंस yes, करना yes. मतलब कई बार मॉक्स स्कोर अच्छा आ गया तो एकदम से एकदम दैट हैपीनेस इन ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस कम्स अप एंड अगर बैड फेज हो गया तो वापस से आने में या कम बैक करने में इट टेक्स टाइम सो हाउ डिड यू मैनेज बोथ द फेजेस इट्स जस्ट टू जस्ट नो दैट बोथ द फेजेस आर टेंपरेरी लाइक इफ देयर इज अ गुड मॉक्स स्कोर दैट मींस मॉक इजी आया था स्पेशली इन द केस ऑफ लीगल एज लाइक द मॉक्स आर प्रीटी डिफिकल्ट यूजुअली सो सेलिब्रेट इफ यू हैव अ गुड मॉक्स स्कोर आई थिंक देयर इज नथिंग रॉन्ग विद सेलिब्रेटिंग डोंट गेट ओवर कॉन्फिडेंट अबाउट इट व्हाट आई यूज्ड टू डू व्हाटएवर माय मॉक वाज जितने भी मेरे गलत क्वेश्चंस होते थे आई यूज्ड टू थिंक ओवर देम आई यूज्ड टू गो ओवर देम एंड नेगेट ऑल ऑफ द फोर ऑप्शंस लाइक व्हाई इज दिस पर्टिकुलर ऑप्शन रॉन्ग एंड go to the teachers ask them if i feel something else is correct and also a bad again the same mantra that i follow a bad mock score does not mean you're you're bad or you're not doing anything it just means you'll have more lessons to learn so a bad mock score is fine and a good mock score is great but be neutral about both of them just know that the clad paper is very unpredictable you'll never know what can happen i think this year as well they changed the pattern yeah 120 questions ho gaya See, you just never know what goodly they will give you next. Just prepare for everything. Simply a mindset game, right? Yes, yes, yeah. So the new pattern also the same way. Last time, I put six months for it. Change it. Yeah. Now the new clad pattern. So does does should it affect the student a lot? Definitely, it's 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 not like it won't affect you. You're you're giving your hard. Uh, sweat and blood for this exam you're giving your hours it's going to affect you mm-hmm. but just understand it's not happening to you only you're mm-hmm. not the only person facing this every single person preparing for clat would have had the same shock and everybody is coping up with it so take your time i understand it's a huge change the cutoffs will be different everything will change because of this uh, change but take your time understand the change understand the consequences of the change uh, talk to your teachers they will definitely understand what does this change mean and yeah you'll be able to cope up with it it's not it's not something that is unfathomable it will be done people will still get into nls nals are all the top three colleges this year as well so take your time but get over it after a after a point just understand this is the paper i have to give and i have to ace that's it all right anything you want to add on which i might not have asked or you might have some opinions about it or suggestions for our students yeah just just one thing take one day at a time like if uh, if today is the day that you got the baddest mock score it's fine tomorrow might be the day you'll get the best mock score just take one day at a time and understand the bigger picture and also talk to your mentors and teachers i did not do it but please talk to them and the third one the one the mistake that i made focus on qt please focus on, on maths i did not focus as much as needed so that's the section where i lost the most marks i got full in cr i got really good marks in gk in legal but that's the section where all my marks were lost so please please focus on qt it is going to be the deciding factor that's it and and i hope to see you in nls nalsar or somewhere i am yeah. waiting for you true and the journey looks pretty good because as per your yes. experience and we we can see ki how happy you are right now and yeah. so every every bit of your hard work is worth it yes absolutely all right any experience you would like to share about nalsar here so that which can give them a very inspiring story or something yes nalsar uh, the the thing that striked out the most to me about nalsar is how liberal it is like you can wear the most outrageous clothes nobody cares people literally sit in classes in like night suits it's very it's very liberal the atmosphere is also very it's very people are very nice to each other the seniors they come up to me themselves and just they're this like whatever you need do you need our notes do you need our 
uh, projects, whatever it is, people here are extremely, extremely helpful. And the sunsets are really pretty. So come here for sunsets. They are stunning. So that's making your day, right? <laughs> yes, every day after a full day of classes, when we go up to the terrace to see the sunset, it makes up for everything. All right. So shall we wrap it up, Vashnavi? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It was classes. great, great talking to you. Yes, ma'am. Same here, same from my end. Thank you so much for your precious time, bache. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Bacha, bacha, aap mujhe ek cheez de sakte hain. Apna jo jis number pe maine aapko bhi link bheja hai, usme you can share three of your photographs which you want in your YT ka video. Therein you can we can paste it. Matlab aise thumb bhi. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Secondly, your yes, rank and your hmm? or, and your L E I D if you remember. And if you don't know, I'll I'll, I'll check, ma'am. I'll check and let you know. Or if you do not remember your L E I D, you can just give me your registered email I D. I'll check it for you. Okay, okay, okay. ठीक है. I'll do it in an hour if that's no, no, fine. No, no. I have till class. the evening, no problem. Till the evening. Okay, ma'am. Fine. ठीक है. ठीक है. Thank you. Yes. Bye. Thank you so much, ma'am. It was great. Thank you. Bye.